Lawyer Robert Ficori has made it his mission to be a voice for the injured. The Ficori firm fights for those involved in car accidents, victims of abuse, and much more. I sat down with him to hear his personal journey in helping others both inside and outside of the courtroom. So I thought I wanted to be a doctor. Okay. Um, and I studied abroad in France, learning to speak French, and I thought, wow, they really know how to enjoy life. So I thought I couldn't do school till I'm in my 40s, right? And law school was the second best bet. Went around and toured schools in Chicago and saw uh, a trial advocacy program, which is them literally putting on a fake case, essentially. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with it. So I decided to secretly take the LSAT and apply to law school and not tell my parents. And until I got into law school and say, hey, I'm making the jump from med school to law school. And, and that was the start of my journey. It's interesting because I know that you really take holistic wellness outside the courtroom with your clients too, correct? Absolutely. I mean, you know, I have a personal experience. I became a lawyer at 23 years old and was forced to start my own practice at 25 when my parents lost everything. And coming from a family that provided everything, I felt like I had to step up to the plate. And unfortunately, unfortunately, excuse me, in so doing, I, you know, fell victim to prescription medication abuse and I almost lost my life um, in July of 2018. And I turned to fitness to, to change my story. Mm -hmm. And what came to be you know, revealed was just how capable our human body really is. How do you impart that on your clients? Because that is something that is hard for people to take on. Sure. You know, it's important for people to understand that a fitness journey and, and a mental health and becoming your best self takes time mm -hmm. and takes practice. So I do it on a daily basis through my Instagram platform and through our social media channels where I will, you know, have a three-part component, as I like to put it. My physical fitness, my mental health, and then my law. And we get so many of our clients through social media that they're seeing what type of changes are necessary. And everybody loves somebody who can overcome a difficult situation. And the same holds true for personal injury victims. Mm -hmm. You know, those that are resilient, that are choosing to fight and overcome that injury takes time. And I love to give them that motivation, even if it's not on a direct call, through an indirect means of using social media to do so. So now you're not just seeing law clients, you are also seeing fitness and holistic wellness clients too, correct? Well, yeah, of course. Okay. So what we've now started to offer, what I've started to offer is this leadership mentorship program through the use of social media because of how much of a change I've seen in myself mm -hmm. that I want to impart those skills onto others. And really what it takes is getting the framework, knowing the blueprint and implementing that on a daily basis. And for me, it's not just the physical component, it's also the nutritional and sleep component, which is critical to, to, to getting yourself in, in your best place. I've recently started implementing um, salt into my routine, and I like that uh, because yeah. you know, and I yep. can tell that you're into fitness as well, that's really an important part of getting yourself hydrated. We always think of having this you know, sodium intake that, that's gonna harm our health, but if you do things with the right knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, you really can change the way that you you're, you, you carry on your simple daily activities and deal with stress, and to me, that's most important. So how do you balance it all? How do you do the law? How do you take care of yourself, and how do you take care of other clients? You know, I set a standard, right? I, I know that every single day, come 5 a.m., I'm getting up and I'm getting to the gym, no matter what, never to fail. Mm -hmm. Even if I have a stressful day at work that's coming forward, even if there's difficult things that are going on in my life, that standard is something I don't part away from in order to deal with the stresses that happen on a daily basis. Um, and that gives me balance, right? Because I'm separating certain parts of my day for certain aspects that, that fuel me. It's important for people to understand, um, especially when you go through something so life altering like I had to happen to me, yeah. that you can change, that change can happen. You can manifest it, maybe not tomorrow, but in time and with practice. And I have to share that knowledge because if I had that little bit of light when I was going through my difficult space, I, I don't think I would have gone through as, as horrible of a time that I did. All right, grab those phones to scan the QR code on your screen. For more information about the Ficori firm, you can also give them a call or visit the website there on your screen. That's FicoriLaw.com.